Hey, welcome to another lesson on how to create 2048 in Unity. For this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a win screen for when the player gets to 2048. This win screen will give the player the option to restart or to continue playing to get a higher score. All right, so to create the winning screen, the first thing that we'll need to do is create a UI panel to display that the player has won. For this, I've just duplicated our game over panel, renamed it to winning panel, for the text game object, I've changed the text value to be you win. I've then duplicated the restart button and I changed the position of both my buttons. But I changed the new button to say continue and we'll have to change the function that's paired to this button. But we haven't coded that yet. And so at this point, let's open up our game controller script. Inside our game controller script, there's a couple variables that we need to add. The first is a serialized field of type int, which I've called winning score. The second is a serialized field of type game object, which I've called winning panel. And the last is a bool called has one. Once we have these variables, we'll need to create a couple new functions. The first is a public void function called winning check, and it has a parameter of type int called highest fill. Inside this function, the first thing that we want to do is check to see if our has one variable is true, and if it is, then we just want to return. If has one is false, then the next thing that we want to do is check to see if our highest fill parameter is equal to our winning score variable. If it is, then all we have to do is enable our winning panel. So I have winning panel dot set active and I'm passing in true. And we want to set our has one variable equal to true. Now there's one more function that we want to create and this will be the function that's paired to our continue button. And so this is a public void function, which I've called keep playing. And all we have to do is disable our winning panel. So I have winning panel dot set active and I'm passing in false. Now once you have these functions, we can go ahead and save this script. And now all we have to do is call our winning check function. And we'll do this from our fill script. To call this function, we want to do this in the double function because the double function is the function that's called whenever two fill objects are combined. And so here at the bottom of our double function, I have game controller 2048.instance.winningCheck and we're passing in the current value variable. And that's all we have to do. So let's go ahead and save this script and we'll go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we want to select the game object that has our game controller script attached to it. And the first thing that we need to do is set our winning score variable. Now, normally you would set this to 2048, but I've set it to 16 for testing purposes. Then we just need to initialize our winning panel variable. And so you'll want to select that object from the hierarchy and drag it in there. We then want to select our continue button and change the onclick event to our keep playing function. Now the last thing that we need to do before we test this mechanic is disable our winning panel. So let's go ahead and hit play. And so I'm going to keep combining my fill objects until I get to 16, at which point our winning panel is enabled. Now even though this is a different restart button, it should still be paired to our restart function. And so that's working. We'll get back to 16. And now I'll test out our continue button. It looks like that's working too. Now I'll test this one more time, but I'm going to set the winning score to 64, just so that we know that it works with different values. And there we go. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to create and display a win screen for 2048. If you found this video to be informational, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions you have in the comments below and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.